Andy House would like to introduce the story, Ghost of the Woman, based on the true Vietnamese story. Last chapter, Mystery Solved. She slowly walked toward the big door. Kang gasped and gathered his energy to calm himself down. He got up and followed the girl's shadow to the door. That shadow went like a flight on the ground. Kang kept looking at the white shirt and followed. He himself did not know why he followed her, even though his legs kept sticking together, entangled in vines and roots, causing him to stumble several times. Arriving at the edge of the big pond behind the house, Duyan stood back, staring down at the pond. The sky is thunderstorm. The wind blows and buzzes through the ears, blowing up the fallen leaves rustling flying to Kang's face. He tried to open his eyes, shouting, Miss Duyan. And the girl slowly turned around. The lightning flashes again. On his pale face, his eyes were full of grief. Then she leaned back into the pond, disappearing. Kang panicked but found nothing. Rain poured down. Everything became dark. The sound of the cat screaming in the ear made Kang wake up. He looked startled and found himself lying on the bed. His clothes were wet, covered with mud and leaves. His body was hot. His head hurt. He gasped. Everything last night. Was a dream or real? Du Yun's gaze kept haunting him. Kang staggered to his feet. He was feverish. He felt dizzy. Stopping the wall over the room. The lid of the chest was closed. He put his hand to open the lid. And inside was empty. There was only a layer of wood mount to the bottom. Kang sat down on the floor. Panting with tiredness. Suddenly his eyes narrowed. He reached out and touched the wood beneath the lid. There were long. Entangled streaks on the hardwood layer. He was dumbfounded, recalling the sound of scratching in the night. Is the girl brought here? And in desperation, she tried to find a way out of this dark place. Unconsciously looking down, he rolled his eyes and shouted and fainted. Below, in the chest, Du Yen is lying stiffly. The high fever made Kang mesmerized all day. In the delirium, Kang saw him walking on the country road full of wild flowers. The afternoon sun shines on the green trees. Color purple flowers streaked on the legs wrapped tangerines. There was a gentle call to his name. Kang looked back. Du Yen crouched in the sun. The white silk shirt shone brightly with a smiling face like a flower. He felt very familiar with that smile. She ran to hold his hand. They walked together on a long road. Kang bent down, interrupting a purple flower and placed it on Du Yun's hair. She looked at him lovingly, putting her hand against Kang's face. He shivered. Her hand was cold. Kang opened his eyes to see her eyes pale with the white shirt of Du Yun. And her face was sad. He raised his hand but her gaze grew farther away. That afternoon, Kang went to the neighborhood. He asked a few men to follow him into the pond behind the house. Go to the tree where he saw Du Yen falling. When the blows flipped up the ground to reveal white bones, mixed in rotting white cloth, he suddenly felt a soft breathing behind his ears. That night, Kang waited. By midnight, until morning, everything around was quiet. A few days later, when cleaning the house, he found some old items. There was a small notebook, yellowed paper, stuffed deep in the corner of the closet. Open up the small words, Diary of Du Yen. Du Yen was orphaned from a baby. The girl found a beautiful love, but her husband died in a faraway place. The distressed girl had to live alone in this house, the house her husband bought for her. Months later after her husband died, the words blurred tears remembering memories of husband and wife. 
and even the insecurities, worries about a villain in the neighborhood to seduce her. The last page ended with fears. <coughs> Kang startled to drop the notebook, which dropped an old picture. From where the black cat appeared, ran to rub his leg. Kang bent down to pick it up. The back has the words. Anniversary of the wedding day. Day. Month. Year. In the pictures, Du Yen radiant next to her husband. Kang dumbfounded. Du Yen husband. That face. Like him like two drops of water. Purple flowers bloom on the grave of Du Yen. Sad as the life of the girl destined. Kang tried to find out that the man whom Du Yen fear had ended was very painful. He suddenly went crazy and cut himself to death in madness. As for Kang, Du Yen for him is not just a name. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to support Andy House. See you guys in the next videos.